Hello everyone, I am Datta Trenikam. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda. New day, new topic. And our today's topic is Control Room Engineering Part 14B. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created related to the topic of engineering, project, career, and instrumentation and control engineering videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel eFunda to get latest update and reviews on various subjects and upload of our new videos. So let's begin with our today's topic that is control room engineering part 14b. As part of instrumentation control panel and control room engineering series, we have already created video on instrumentation and control basics part 14. Instrumentation Control Panels Part 14A, Control Room Engineering Part 14B. This video, here in this video, we are covering Control Room Engineering, their detail, design consideration, and concept of, of Control Room Engineering. How the control room is useful to the operator for performing the control and monitoring operation from the control room. Control Room Engineering. The basic intent of the design of a control room is to provide optimal equipment operation as well as a personal comfort for the operator. Future expansion is also an important consideration in the layout of a control room. A control room or operations room is a room serving a central space where a large physical facility or physically dispersed service can be monitored and controlled. A control room will often be a part of a larger command center, mainly for large plant. Control room likely to be situated in a separate building away from process plant. For medium plant, control room may be within the plant building or a control panel located near the plant. One can refer the figure where one can see the control room, typical control room layout and further we will discuss in our today's video about the control room engineering. Typical DCS system equipment arrangement category, one can see the typical arrangement of a control room where one can see the field side from where field instruments are connected to the IO rack where all the IO cabinet, marshalling IO cabinet as well as the functional specification and a control loop that is the controllers are located where ESD processor card, sequence of event engineering PCs are located in the rack room and in the console room, DCS console, HMI, auxiliary console, annunciator as well as the operator consoles are located. For categorization, one can typically see the table on right hand side where the control room, engineering room and computer rooms are classified under the control room, operator console, operator keyboard, printers, video copier, under engineering room, engineering workstation, printers, under computer room, cabinet containing process IO cards, controller, communication module, etc. This is how the typical DCS system equipments are arranged category wise so as to understand the concept of control room engineering. DCS or SCADA safety system that is ESD processes thousands of pieces of information continuously display to the operators via various HMI. Control room interface between personnel and the process that is a plant. Reliable and a simple process control depends on the design of a control room. Control room serves as an operation center where facility or a service can be monitored and controlled. Control room design process provides a cost effective method. A properly designed control room facility can increase operator performance, reduce work related stress, reduce human error, improve safety, reduce upset, shutdown, and contribute significantly in the final product. Typical specifications include primary and a secondary user requirement room type sizing and functions building and room adjacencies console arrangements 
interactive processes communication and interface strategies ergonomic console design and a work process requirement shared equipment arrangement what is counter measure this is how one should make the understanding of the control room so as to understand the better about the control room engineering and its importance now we will see typical control room layout a well designed equipment control room serves the effectiveness of the plant or else badly designed project incur costly changes redesign time delays construction nightmare and implication on effectiveness of the plant for next 30 year that is design line of the control room one can refer this sketch below where a typical control room layout is shown where one can see the operator console arrangement as well as the large display panel for monitoring and control operation similarly shift technical advisor console with supervisor console printer hard copy operator desk tv console data management console diverse access panel etc this is how the typically the control room layout is designed for better improvement in the effectiveness of the process operation and operator efficiency a scientifically designed control room is required now we will continue with understanding or considering the design consideration required while considering the control room layout designing control room engineering design factor mainly following factors also to be collaborated with architecture and design contractors flooring finishing lighting hvac system and noise for ready reference we have shared the scientifically designed control room with considering all major factors moving on to actual control room design consideration we will go through iso 11064 ergonomic design of control centers where we will see various parts are being covered under iso 11064 and their details part 1 principles for the design of a control center part 2 principles for the arrangement of a final control suits part 3 control room layout part 4 layout and dimension of workstations part 5 displays and controls part 6 environmental requirement for control room part 7 principles for evaluation of a control center part 8 ergonomic requirement for specific application one can see the design process an objective which is clearly indicated in the right hand side figure where phase a phase b phase c phase d phase e is being considered and evaluated please carefully study this figure for having better understanding on iso 11064 requirement now moving on to design consideration for control room engineering first is the location criteria a hazardous area plant b non hazardous area plant the control room should be preferably in a safe area location as the control room is a very critical from operation point of view and controlling the operation or a plant so location is a very important while selecting or designing the control room area to location a control room should not be near the plant so that operators are not at rest b increasing the distance from the process plant make it inconvenient for the staff to operate it increasing the distance of a control room from process plant increase the cost of cabling d plant managers are generally opposed to the control room being to remote so this is the location of the control room is also critical from operator movement point of view three risk analysis a assumption to reduce the release of potential hazardous material b classification based on risk analysis classifications are made category 1 high hazard plant category 2 handling flammable material and 
estimated as a maximum category 3 plants incapable of producing flammable vapor cloud this is how the risk analysis is done and category is made one can see the picture where the control room design considering the risk factors are involved and accordingly based on the category the control room is built fourth point human engineering as per isa rp 60.3 human engineering for control center provides guideline on selection of a operator equipment design one can see the sketch at the left hand side one operator is standing and one operator is sitting so one has to consider standing elbow height of the operator as well as the standing eye height as well as the installation of a monitor tilt at the distance of 20 to 28 inch to the screen from operator eye and one should take care of the height of the operator standing position similarly when the operator at the sitting position seat height setting elbow height monitor tilt that is 10 inch to 20 inch sitting eye height to be considered from the monitor and to visualize this one can refer the photograph where standing position as well as the sitting position of the operator is shown similarly the ergonomic workstations one can see how the design is being carried out considering the operator sitting various kinds of considerations are mentioned starting from the sitting posture and then the operator computer sitting elbow height where the keyboard position is mentioned and similarly the monitor tilt is also mentioned and the eyesight angle that is a 15 degree is also mentioned this is how one should take care of air shoulder elbow and hip in a one line so this is how the human engineering help to maximize the efficiency of the operator by designing the proper engineered sitting arrangement as well as the operating console fifth point control center display unit one can refer below photograph where you can see various types of display units are used for engineering as well as operating workstation similarly there is a display screen on front of each operator where entire operation or a process can be monitored this is how the display units are being helpful to the operator for achieving measuring a monitoring and controlling of the process plant or respective processing unit similarly on the six point graphics in the control room where in a photograph one can see the graphics is displaced where entire operation cycle is being displayed on a screen and various kind of operation status are being monitored by the operator on their individual workstation this is how the graphics in the control room is used for betterment or operation of the process plant seven number point operator console and shutdown console one can refer to photographs below where operator console is shown in a both the photograph and similarly shutdown consoles are also shown in a first photograph left hand side and in set second photograph it is the middle where this operators will be sitting and maximizing their efficiency to enhance the production by controlling and monitoring the operation from the control room without going to the plant this is how operator consoles and shutdown panel will help operator to smoothen the controlling and monitoring operation of the entire plant separating walls doors and windows one can refer below photograph where one can see the control room layout where the separating walls are being used so as to isolate or separate operator console that is the operator desk and various operating consoles and shutdown console where operator can monitor and control the process plan so other rooms are separated by walls and common doors are being used so as to avoid the unnecessarily entry inside and similarly some of the windows are provided so that operator can see the view of the plant
similarly one can see in a right hand photograph where from operator desk entire control panels are shown where the operator console and from there operator can see the entire process plan for having the better understanding of the layout of the process plan and operational requirement. 9. Cable entries to the control room via MCT that is going into the rack room. One can see below bird eye view photograph of refinery where inside the control room the cables are coming from the process plant area on the pipe rack and it is entering into the control building via MCT. One can see the photographs on the right hand side where multi cable transit blocks are being used so as to pass the cable through them from unsafe or hazardous area to the safe area inside the control room. The purpose of MCT is to make or give blast proof effect to the control room where in case of any fire outside it will not enter to the control room and MCT block will resist the fire at the outside of the MCT block. Then false flooring and false ceiling one can refer below photograph where the control room view is shown and in left hand side photograph one can see false flooring where the below false floor the cables are coming from flat area entering through the MCT and going to the operator console for further necessary action or control by operator and this false flooring will help to hide the cables coming from the plant area and that place can be used for the operator movement. Similarly on the right hand photograph one can see the false ceiling where it will help to build or install lighting fixtures or lighting panel arrangement on the operator desk to increase the visibility of the control room and this is how the false flooring and false ceiling will be used inside the control room so that it will give the good view of the operator room 11 control room lighting and size a on panel section 40 to 50 foot candles b at the back of panel that is 10 foot candles c dcs system above 3 feet above floor to avoid any reflections for this we have attached some of the photograph one can refer below photograph where the operator room is shown and the lighting arrangement is made considering the design standard where the lighting panels are installed above the monitor as well as behind the panel. Similarly, one can see on the extremely right photograph how the control room lighting arrangement is made on and on above of the operator console. Similarly, behind the operator console and in a middle sketch one can see the operator sitting process posture where if the overhead lighting is used then it should be directed downward parallel to the line of sight and placed one side of the user. This is how the lighting is being taken care in the control room so as to have a better operator performance and no reflection from the system screen. Moving on to technically design control room layout one can see the sketch where entire control room is shown we will start from the plant side where NCT blocks are installed so as to bring the cable to the rack room that the provisions are for the futures are also made and in line to this operator workstation as well as operator console rooms are also shown and similarly on the left hand side AC plant room, AHU room are also shown on the extreme right hand side clean agent cylinder room ups room battery room engineering workstations for the dcs engineering workstations for the plc and operator room as well as on the left hand side toilet room change room doc, DOC room that is a documentation room and on the console side there shift in charge room shift engineering room shift engineering room, shift engineering room, calibration room, 
shift manager room and lobby and main entry and extreme left hand side back entry this is how the technically designed control room where one can see provision for entering the cable as well as the separate rack room for installation of the panel and similarly a separate room where the operator are sitting on the operator console with their operator engineering workstation as well as the operating workstation this is how the control room should be designed so as to avoid any disturbances from the plant side as well as the other disturbances from the various utilities or other associated panels from outside or other room this is how the control room is designed so far we have seen various design consideration while designing the control room and now we have seen the control room layout as well now we are seeing the main control room where the operator consoles are shown as well as the cctv monitors or operating tvs are installed on top of the operator console so as to see the view of the process plant and one can see the operator sitting arrangement as well so far we have seen various design aspects of the control room control room layout and main control room now we are moving on to end section where modern design of a main control room one can refer below photograph where each operator section or units from the process facilities are separately built and a separate operator space is provided for each operator to control his own unit similarly there is a rack for expansion of a future operator consoles or engineering consoles or engineering monitor provision for the documentation lighting arrangement as well as the future expansion considering the upgrade of the process plan this is how the modern control rooms are designed and hope this video will help you to understand better on the control room engineering topic with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topic related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic